if you like to get out in the garden, you like to plant things, you know, before you can call yourself a really serious gardener, you need to come and see these folks. We're at the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company right out of Mansfield. This is Christina Wilkes, and this is Dave Kaiser. And thank you for having us by, first of all. For folks who may not have been, I'm not kidding. If, if you want to know planting, this is the place you have to come. Oh, definitely. We have about 1,800 varieties of seeds here. We've got every color of tomato you can think of. Mm -hmm. Blue, black, pink, yellow, white. Every color of carrot. We like the rainbow carrot varieties. We've got a pioneer village here as well. Mm -hmm. So there's yeah, a Bakersville. Lot of, Bakersville, yes. Yeah. So there's a lot of seeds here. Yeah. And, you know, when you say 18, I don't think people, you know, get the idea of the scope of that because this is not only, you know, modern seed or things that we're familiar with, but heirloom is very important to what the whole name of this place is. Absolutely. It's, it's what our parents and grandparents planted, you know, years ago. And it's very dependable. It, it, it's something that we can depend on. Mm -hmm. Now, I also heard something here that, you know, with your gardens that, that you have in Bakersville, this is something you try before they buy, in other words. Yes, all our gardens here are trial gardens. So the seeds we're growing aren't even in our catalog yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we grow them here, we photograph them, try them, eat them, cook them. The whole staff grazes through the gardens throughout the summer. It's the, it's the greatest. So. Yeah. so you know, by the time it's being sold as seed here, you know, in the store, it's already tested, tried, and true. And you know it's going to be something good. Tell me a little bit about Jer, because he's an interesting person who really made this happen. Well, absolutely. I met him when he was like 12 years old. And he had a hobby of unusual seeds, and he took that hobby into this business, and um, it's quite a neat story, but uh, he just tapped into a, a seed movement. Mm -hmm. and, and it's uh, the country is uh, ready for, for better seeds and better produce for better health. Yes. He travels all, of, all over the world to find these different seeds, does he not? Oh yes, Jer travels as well as a lot of our staff travels throughout the world. They've been to Trinidad, Peru, Japan, Taiwan, all over the place. Yes, yeah, so you'll find things here that you will find nowhere else. Exactly. Yeah. Now do you have the experts here too? Because I mean, if you see something that you want to try, you may not necessarily know how to deal with it. Absolutely. We have some uh, uh, real skilled gardeners and with a lot of experience and, and uh, actually quite a bit of schooling, too. So it's a good place to, to come and ask questions. Yeah, you can you can learn here. And that's also part of what uh, Bakersville is about with the animals and things you have here. This is a learning experience for people. Oh, yes, it is. And you'll see new things you hadn't seen here before when you're tri walking around. We have varieties of birds from Asia, from um, Indonesia, all over. We've got miniature horses and mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff that you'll see. You know, now mom and dad might want to come out, but then they have kids. You have things for kids? We sure do. We have um, all sorts of stuff here in our seed store. We have all sorts of toys, and we have a toy land here, and stuff for them to look through. We have the jail, and the kids usually like the animals. Yeah, especially the baby ones. Oh, definitely. <laughs> We're hatching a lot of babies right now, baby chickens and all mm -hmm. sorts of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know Baker Seed also really does like to get involved with the community at large. Is that not true? Absolutely. We do a lot of school tours here, especially in the spring of the year. And uh, he, Jared does, uh, he helps with community gardens and, and school gardens. Mm -hmm. And so he's very uh, community minded. He's very helpful. All right. So, you know, you're part of the community because you have the village here. You have some really good food for the folks who visit as well. Oh, yeah. We've got our restaurant here. You should come and check it out. We're open every Monday through Friday from 1130 to 2. And Chef Corey cooks up some great meals. We have a different meal each day. Mm -hmm. So today was pasta day. Yeah. It's really good. It's really good vegan food as well. And once our gardens start growing, our produce and everything comes from our gardens. Right. Everything is produced right here. Now, I know also a great time to come around is when you have festivals. And you do that about once a month during a certain time of the year. The first Sunday of every month, March through October, we have a festival out here. This village just comes alive with right. vendors everywhere, live music, all sorts of great food and everything it's here. Yeah. It's, it's a time to kind of go back a little in history and then come away with something that you can bring home with you. If people want more information about everything that goes on here, how do they get it? You can get it from our website, rareseeds.com. Also, our Facebook page, we're very active on there. We're doing posts every day and live videos every week with live question and answer. So if you have 
garden questions or any concerns, you can ask them right there and we'll answer it live on air. Or about all the seeds that you have for folks to plant. Yes. <laughs> all right. So come and see them. I mean it. If you're a gardener, you really do need to come to Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company, just outside of Mansfield.